rally over? Well, first of all, it's great to be here. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Okay. Rally over. <laughs> yeah, at the studio. Well, the market is very short-term oriented, right? As you can see, the uh, market is looking for clarities. Uh, given the position, which is at the historical low for China, mm. the market is paused to bounce. But we have to um, be realistic. So for COVID policy to pivot, mm. there will be a roadmap, right? We are looking for clarity in terms of uh, you know, policy announcement potentially, and the state media pivoting in terms of messaging and the narrative, and also more vaccination and uh, hospital preparation. Right? So we advise our client to take a wait and see to look for that certainty. Okay. But just given what we've seen the last two days, I think it's quite telling though, of just how much dry powder there is right, on the sidelines, waiting to kind of wait for this moment, that clarity, as you mentioned. So it is very tough at this moment to, to stay quite bearish on China. W would you say so? Well, I, you, know, you know, as our chairman you know, commented, you know, we are overweighting, right? And a lot of our clients, um, you know, being on their long game for China has been not easy. But at the same time, we're also seeing, for example, Monday, uh, our trading path actually hit historical high in terms of number of orders and execution. Mm. So the market is still functioning really well, even at the downside. So in many ways, we're positioned, hopefully, for the recovery when the pivot happening. Right. You know, southbound flows across yeah. the stock connect every single day since, since the start or late September. What are people buying? Well, we have a lot of, uh, um, you know, buying still uh, continuing to, for example, policy tailwind sectors. Uh, whether it's uh, renewable and right. uh, green-related, okay. um, self-reliance technology, manufacturing-related sector, right. and also internet has been, you know, a beaten-down sectors with some of the discussion of PCLB inspection here happening mm. uh, in the city, mm. and also some of the you know looking forward policy easing. So those are the sectors attracting southbound as well. Okay. Uh, when it comes to property, I think there was one analyst from Luma Sales was saying, you know, this bonds at least are, are no longer analyzable, that you're just not getting that sort of information and transparency. Mm -hmm. How do you look at it from an equity perspective when it comes to these properties? Well, we, if we look at um, the fundamental, uh, we do see uh, Chinese proper, property sector will stabilize in the coming months and then pot potentially pivoting you know, upwards in a couple of quarters. But again, we need that policy certainties um, PBOC uh, governor has come out with some soft landing directions and a policy sort of indications, but markets still need more certainty. And normally equity markets react earlier, uh, about probably three to six months. So we do expecting, so that sector will continue to attract our clients' demand. Uh, we're just about done with earnings season. What do you think of what we've seen so far? MSCI China. Sure, sure. Uh, well, I Mostly. think the, yeah. well, the valuation is at a historical low. So we do expect, um, you know, after stronger than expected Q3, mm -hmm. with some of the headwind uh, of the zero COVID policy, mm -hmm. you know, we still will probably see a set of a relatively weaker number in Q4. But looking beyond that, COVID policy is really the key focus. And we do expect more than 5% growth of GDP for China in uh, 2023.